that's going to be happening just now so uh hoping you guys are ready because uh i'm definitely not ready for this i feel i'm not ready for this because it's going to be one heck of a hectic race that we're going to see from this here one guys and uh we are waiting to see some good luck at racing right so as the time is about to start as you can hear the clock is ticking as we're getting into the lobby and uh getting ready to do some uh, good shots color right is uh, but uh ooh, ladies and gentlemen oh i hope you guys are ready for this i'm hoping you guys are ready because uh it's gonna be one uh, 
heck of a race that you're going to be going through. Uh, right, so let us have a look. And uh, oof, this is getting a little bit toasty. I'm thinking about it right now as these races have uh, uh, they have a lot of uh, proving to do. But uh, let us see how this goes on. This is going to be one heck of a race, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Rodies, as we now prepare to get into the quali session, you guys let me know who will be in first place. Definitely, we have a lot of fast drivers in this race right here. But who do we think is going to take first place? I saw some round, some routing going on for Martin. So uh, Martin, uh, uh, you know what, Martin, Mackie better prove us that he is worthy of this. We want to see him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's now get on the track as we hear the cars rumbling, get them getting themselves nice and started. So let's now switch on to the track. Boom. Woo. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do not mind the emoticons. Uh, they might have uh, shown themselves. Uh, that is not what we wanted. But let us uh, remove those uh, and get ready to see some good flying laps. So it looks like a lot of drivers are already going out uh, for the art laps. We have Quiss and Leisure and uh, Titan and Cosse trying to get that morning lacquer sticky track action. Uh, I don't think uh, this game does register to that, but I'm assuming it does register a little bit to track temperatures, hopefully. Uh, but it was never written in the game, so we'll never know. But uh, this is going to be one, uh, I'll have an interesting one right here. So let us get on board with Gus as he gets his tires nice and shaky and bakey, getting them nice and toasty as, uh, as he is about to approach the start to finish and a few high speed corners that we have right here. Alright, so we have Microstatic who's just drawing this in right now, so we will be getting a bit of action from him also in Tier 1. Ah, we've got a bit of a yellow sector going on, hey. Let us have a look now. As uh, Kuas prepares to go for his eye, uh, doing some shaky baking right there, and the rear tire is getting the nice and warm, getting the nice and sticky. Let us see as he goes through to the first corner, how will we be able to handle this first corner, getting a nice good ending breaking right there. Just missing the apex and going a little bit wide there, slowing himself a little bit down there, but we will never know. It is not the end of this whole entire quality. It just begun. Getting a really good exit coming out of the corner and getting into his DRS zone, picking up a lot of speed, going through to our one next turn. So let us see how he does on this turn right here. Climbing onto the sausage a little bit there. Oof. Missing out in the apex and going a little bit wide. He went a little bit too deep on the apex. And uh, that is not what you're looking for right there, ladies and gentlemen, as you lose a lot of speed as you go out wide, trying to get the car back into position. So let us see how he does now on this coming tight corner, as uh, will he be able to get a nice good entry so he can get a well-deserved good exit. Let us have a find, let us find out right there, nicking that inside corner right there, getting a bit of good exit right there. It's not as fast as we like to see it. But uh, you'll never know when he's got Pac-Man and has come in a few corners right here as he gets a fairly good exit on that corner right there, going through the high speed corners. Oof, nice speed carried out on these corners, managing to break the car in time and really getting a nice good fluffy, giving us the first time at a 1.6. That is one heck of a fast time. So, oh, yes, he was losing the back end of the car coming out of that corner. Oh, that is not looking good for him right there, but he does definitely take the fastest lap, followed by Azure, destroying that lap by taking the fastest lap right there on a 1.3. So that is now the benchmark 
that we are now looking at a 133 plus you better get something going right there so we have now uh as she oh leandre finish him off his lap will he be able to set a little bit down on that one right there uh just manages to get himself in the 140s but it looks like he will be pushing this lap right here as his hot lap let us see let us find out will he be able to get himself into the top three position or will he just uh not be able to manage to get into it but we will just have to find out as he goes down uh the first drs zone let's see how he enters this corner right here ladies and gentlemen will he be able to carry out a bit of speed yeah nicely done there nice and tidy managing to get a lot of speed coming through that exit there getting that left hand corner got a little bit of too much speed there but managing to keep it under control lost a little bit of uh, precious seconds there having to back oh austin getting the fastest time right there which is coming from marsh that's really good coming from him but uh now we are currently on board with leandre as he goes through this corner right there managing to keep it nice and tidy a little bit too slow there uh, not giving him a really good exit right there but he just needed to carry out some speed coming from the entry but let us have a look whoa this work out for him remember ladies and gentlemen slow sometimes can be fast so uh let us just see how this is going to turn out ladies and gentlemen who are viewing this channel and stream right now just let me know who is your favorite driver out there as we are now currently on board with the andre how will he do how will he fail as he comes through to the start finish will we be able to get a really good time and gets himself a 135 so i have a feeling he is definitely not done right there he might actually go back into the pit and uh do something else all right so let us uh get on board of titan one of the fast drivers right here that we have Waffles, hey, uh, uh, just to just inform you a little bit there, my internet keeps dropping and dipping there and there, but we are well, currently trying to keep it as stable as possible. Uh, yes, it does tend to lag there and there, but it will hopefully stay as stable as possible. It just keeps dipping in and out. I've got no idea what is going on. I've already uh, informed the guys, uh, my internet service provider, to sort it out because this is definitely a terminal for me, which I do not like. So, uh, sorry about that. But uh, now let us get on board of Titan, who is currently blistering through on his first corner right there, managing to just get it right there, carrying a bit of speed coming out of that corner right there. Now, let us have a look. Will we be able to carry out a bit of good speed? On these coming through the corners and he does definitely almost touching the barrier uh the thing with the wall right there but uh let us see how he manages to get himself out on this corner right here will he be able to get a really fast decent time coming at oh carrying a lot of speed in those corners right there climbing right on top of those sausages if it were to be a real time uh, formula one car there would be receiving a bit of a undercarriage uh uh, undercarriage down the stair, but definitely you take advantage of that right here in this game so we are looking at a blistering time coming from titan right here ladies and gentlemen oh my word oh locking up there using some precious time when you lock up there you use that nice good flow into the corner but will we be able to recover uh, some of those precious times that were lost right there really good entry coming from there not as fast as we'd like to see it uh, but he's definitely less than fast in this hot lap that is through oh my word nice entry right there that is looking really good nice fast exits on that corner there wow we are seeing some good skills coming from titan right now locking up there not using so much time but let us see how he exits this uh last corner right here and titan takes full position right there what an insane lap that was right there ladies and gentlemen he is definitely cranking it out there and he is uh doing his utmost best very nicely done there from titan so let us go down the field as you see a few guys who are still in the pits and uh we have uh Steven 
who uh, almost hit the wall there. Doesn't look so good for him right here, but uh, I would like to just get on board of Scott right here, one of the fast drivers to see if he's going to be able to beast the time or beat the time of Titan. Well, let's see how this goes on. This is going to be one of the race that you're going to see right here. Let us see now how Scott fares out. We will be on board with Mackie just now. One of the one of our favorites. Scott managing to get himself into fourth position right there. And he does definitely keep on going. He wants to get himself into pole position. But let us now get on board with Mackie on his out lap as he gets his tires nice and near. And he has not set a time yet. So this is going to be one heck of an interesting lap as he wants to get a piece of himself right there in the top three position. So will he get pole or will he just mess out? Oof, almost hitting the wall right there. Let's see how he approaches this first corner right here, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking a little late there. Just managing to keep it nice and tidy. Getting a bit of speed coming out of the first corner there. A little bit of no confidence coming through to this corner right here, our right hander. And then it goes through to the left. And let's have a look now. Will he be able to manage to get himself into a good position as we're going along? And definitely, ooh, climbing onto those sausages, not invalidating his time, quite interestingly enough. Getting a lot of speed, definitely there, but uh, let us see how he manages to get himself onto the next coming corner. Carrying out a lot of speed there, that is what we are looking for, definitely. There's a bit of locking up that's happening here from Mackie. So he's not carrying out a lot of speed coming from that one there. But uh, ugh, it looks like he might have had a purple set in the set today. So uh, that is not uh, shabby coming from him. Seeing a lot of locking up. But here again, it doesn't look as fast as we think as it should. But it looks like he is definitely backing off and he must be validated his uh, lap. Definitely is backing off and he might actually just decide to. Um, go out again a little bit later so ladies and gentlemen ah well we've already went past the halfway mark of the street of the whole entire economy and uh, it is not definitely not looking so great for a few people so uh oh, ladies and gentlemen let us see how this turns out So, right now we have our top three locking it up with very, very much, almost, almost nothing of a difference, uh, you know, as they, um, oh, we are now going to be on board here, too, huh? of KG going on his hot lap, will be able to manage to get a really good time as he locks up going into the corner, carrying a bit of speed there, a little bit of no confidence coming through this right hander, but still keeping him in track and uh, in check of his car, managing to keep it nice and steady, so let us see how he does here, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a really tight race with the top three right now, they have really impressive times, and we're going to have to see how this turns out, so, oof. KG managing to get in a purple sector but losing out on a lot of time on this sector right here. He gets a first purple sector which is really good. That is what we are looking for right there. But uh, let us see how this turns out for KG as he places himself right through the back straight. Will he manage to get a really good time out of this sector right here? So he does not manage to really get a really good set, but it is still okay when it comes to him. So he seems to be getting a really good uh, pace out of his car right now, having really good entries and exits right there. So he had a bit of an issue with the previous corner, we lost a lot of time. But uh, going through the high speed corners quite well there, keeping the car nice and balanced and tidy. That's really good there. Coming from KG, let us have a look right now. Only managed to get a really good exit right there. Locking up, coming through to the second to last corner. Oh, losing the back end of the car. Oh my word, that was a definite oof. 
that was a definite good lap for him, but now he now has to restart his lap and ensure a city's dominance by going and taking a pole position. He will not accept anything less than pole position right there. So, uh, oh, okay, KG, the tires are now toasted, young man. You're gonna have to just uh, walk it out and just uh, chill a little bit as the tires cool down before you can set another hot lap. So I would say just hang in there young man, hang in there. You can always just uh, chill out a bit, stop using the ERS and uh, uh, go on to the in and try again in the next lap. So Slim and Mackie have not set a time. So Mackie is currently on his hot lap and now this is Slim on his hot lap. Oh he managed to get a little bit um it looks like he had a middle set as purple so that is looking really good as hell right here now. So that is what we are looking for right now. Um, but uh, let's see how this rocks out and this uh, now this fills out for the young man. Oof, oh my word, Slim losing the car. That is not looking good for Slim right there, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely not looking good for him. Ah, oh, my word. Now we have uh, Mackie, he's already on his uh, flying lap right here. Will he manage to get a good time this time now? And uh, let us have a look and see. Let us get on board Mackie the Williams. Will he be our, uh, our, one of our favorite drivers to say? Will he be able to climbing onto the sausages quite nicely there? Getting a bit of uh, speed coming from it, but uh, let us have a look. Will he manage to get a lot of pace on this uh, back straight, will he be able to crank up the whole entire juices of the power from the god? But uh, oh, oh, using my words there a bit, uh, let us have a look, let us have a look, yeah, let me do it. Lucky not coming from Mackie there, but uh, seems a little bit quite nice and tidy there. I see a lot of drivers now retiring and accepting their current times. Ooh, looking really good there for Mackie. Going through the high speed corners, will he manage to keep the car nice and tidy? And he definitely does keep it nice and tidy right there through the corners, managing to break in time to get a bit of speed coming through the corner right there. And we are about to go through to the second to last corner right there, locking up there, managing to keep the speed a little bit. And there we go, the last corner. And whoa, 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 what a surprise there that came from Mackie. Managing to take third position. Oh, that is not looking so good for Marsh right there. As Mackie takes third position by tenth of a second. Like a tenth. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was one heck of an interesting one right there. as we headed towards the end of the quali. This is, uh, has been one heck of an interesting uh, quali fighting right now as we are seeing the top four guys locking it up in the one thing please and uh, the midfielders to say locking it up on the one thing fours and uh, the rest of the guys following up in the one thing fives will we be getting a lot of action from these guys or not? Oh, stay tuned to find out how oh, this is going to be working. qualifying session and we're now about to get ready for the race ladies and gentlemen now we're gonna have to just see how this turns out this is gonna be one hell of an interesting one right here so far it's going to be getting itself hopefully stay that way oops too soon too soon
right, so as we look at it, we're looking at it right now. We have Azure leading our pole position right there, not wanting to accept that second place position. So that is one heck of an interesting one right there now. So this is now tier one as we're looking at it, and uh, ugh, it's gonna be one heck of a tasty race. Wow, these guys have insane times. This is going to be one interesting race. One definitely interesting race right there. As we see, Zeal definitely all the way off pace. I wonder what is going on with Zeal right there. Is he suffering from some sort of issues or what is the big, big problem that comes from there? So we'll just have to find out and how it goes. Righties, ladies and gentlemen, now uh, we're ready for the race, ready to rumble, ready to crank it up as we get into it. Oh, this is going to be one hack of an awesome race, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to enjoy every little bit of it. Ooh, that is not looking so great for most of the races as we have a rainy race. So, ladies and gentlemen, I did say Vietnam does like a bit of, uh, of water to say. So, uh, ooh, that is definitely not looking great for our races out there as they now are going to be entering their race into rain. This is going to make it more exciting and uh, more exhilarating. So let us uh, let's just uh, stay tuned and enjoy this as we are about to see what's happening in the first few corners of this race. Will we be seeing a lot of people losing a lot of spare parts? Or oh, here we go and the race starts. Let us see now. We'll get a good uh, uh, time out of the... Right, so... Let us check, have a look on the first corner. It looks, oh, a few spare parts being lost right there. Ah, keeping it nice and tight for most of the guys. They're keeping it nice and clean. A few guys going a little wide to avoid any incidences. And uh, <laughs> that is not looking good there for the Reynolds as he's just lost a bit of his ring right there. And uh, yeah. So this is going to be one interesting race there. Reynolds is trying to make a move right there onto the Red Bull, but just manages to sit right behind the Red Bull right there, so hmm, this is going to be one interesting race here. Uh, but, uh, oh, the Red Bull losing the rear end of the car, Cosse taking that position from uh, Marsh right there. So we currently have a virtual safety car, and uh, everybody is just really trying to stay as close as possible. This is going to be one interesting restart right here. As you see, Marsh has got a huge fleet right behind him, about to crackle down his throat. They all want his position. That is definitely not looking good at all for these guys. Oh my god, this is going to be one heck of an interesting race. As we see uh, some good action coming from these guys. Now let us have a look how this is going to turn out. Oof, Marsh locking up there, almost losing his front wing. He has lost a little bit of his wing and is struggling for traction right there. Now as the race resumes, will Titan be able to take on Azure as Azure seems to be losing himself a little bit there. Ooh, we've got a retirement that comes from... Uh, Andre there, that is not looking good. Will Titan be able to take on Azure in this nice rainy condition right here? Ooh, he's in a little bit of his rear end there. Azure setting the fastest time at a 2 0 4. Oof. This is going to be super tricky for most guys as, uh, as a lot of things are happening right now. So, Leandre is definitely lost his position right there uh, and he's uh, DNF so that is not looking good for him but let us have a look will Cosse make a move on Scott he is, he is really nice and close to Scott right now are we going to be seeing a, a bit of action coming from uh, Cosse Oof. safety call that is definitely not looking good so this should give a few guys a bit of a moment to get into the pits to repair those broken wings. What an interesting start 
guys. So that was a nice clean start coming through from um, the first corner from these guys. We lost a few spares in there, there, but uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, that did not look so good there. We had a bit of light coming from Corsair there. But, uh, but yeah, I must say, what an interesting start that came from. Uh, from these guys here, yeah. so we didn't see a lot of people losing their, uh, their front wings and we didn't see a lot of people spinning out. We have two retirements right now, so this is going to be one interesting restart on the race as we are headed behind the safety car. Will people be able to keep themselves going, keeping their cars tidy or oh, we have a few people losing their cars during the safety car you know what a lot of things could happen and we have a huge bunch up that's happening right here at the back so this is going to be one interesting race as you can see a few people will pit to make sure they get their cars repaired and get some new set of fresh wood tires. This should extend the, uh, themselves out a little bit into getting a uh, better position. So we have Puss going into a pit and we have Greek also going into a pit and G Funk going into a pit. So I would assume they've had a bit of damage right there. So that is definitely not turning out to be good for them. But the start has been quite clean so far and we currently just have a safety car. So wow, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be one heck of an interesting restart behind the safety car. Will we be able to get the guys through the first corner again as they now are going to be lining themselves up behind the safety car, getting nice and close to the safety car just now. Here we go, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The guys are now behind the safety car. You guys let me know, who are you rooting for? Who will be at the top? As we are looking at it right now, the Titan trying to make moves on Azure. So will he be able to get himself right in front uh, during this uh, restart? Or will he, uh, will, or will we have Azure defending and pull away from Titan? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a little bit tricky compared to when it's a, uh, you know, a dry race. Dry race, it's a little bit easier for the guys who've mastered this game to pull away, but when it's wet, you know, it becomes a little bit tricky. And we've seen a few, uh, a few cars that are losing a bit of their wings there, so that is definitely not looking good. Titan is staying a little bit too close to Azure there, so I think he needs to back off and uh, keep himself away from uh, Azure's gearbox because uh, if something happens right there Titan's gonna go right into Azure and lose his ring and he's gonna lose placing because definitely he's gonna have to go into a pit and uh, start from the back of the grid so that is definitely not looking good for Titan if that had to happen so let us not get into it so we are now behind the safety car and the positionings will be shuffled a little bit as a few guys have went into the pit and they've lost a lot of positions so oof, this is getting quite interesting as we have now Marsh is uh, right there in 10th position finishing off the points table so will he be able to defend himself against Mackie who's, uh, who's eager to get himself into uh, into the top three position, but we'll just have to find out and see how this is going to turn out. This is definitely not looking good for some of the guys. For some of the other guys, freebie positioning, but for some guys, definitely losing out on some positions right there. But we'll just have to see how this turns out. see how it goes I think the safety car should be going on, on this, uh, on this lap right here so uh, ooh, enjoy as much as we're thinking right there like what am I gonna do to keep Titan away because Titan really wants this position as you see right there Scott's just falling a little bit behind during the safety car most probably he's trying to get some breathing space so he can get into a bit of a charge as we get into a safety car restart maybe he might be doing that or he just wants to get his tires nice and toasty 
uh, for the unitary restart of the race as we are now currently behind the safety car. <laughs> we are definitely in for it ladies and gentlemen. How is this going to turn out for most of these guys? We will just have to wait and find out. lap all right here we go we are now waiting to get a restart a nice a, a nice invigorating restart of the race as we have now is just backing off from the safety car trying to get himself into a good position i would hate to restart with the safety car on this race but if i were him i would hold the pack down a little bit further back just to uh, hold them through but uh, I want to actually get into action. I want to get on board of uh, Titan. I have a feeling Titan might be making a move in this uh, coming through now. So they should be able to start going now. In three, two, one. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Oof, that is not good. That is definitely not looking good for Azure as we start on a straight. Let us see now. There's a bit of a lock up there. Jean managing to get a really good, clean first corner right there. But uh, we might be seeing a lot of guys trying their luck there. Ferrari off Scott taking Corsair. And then now it looks like Corsair might be trying his luck again, trying to take that uh, position back. But then uh, does not manage to get a bit of a better uh, exit on that corner right there. But this is going to be one heck of an interesting race. I don't know who to watch. But it's definitely getting some action here between Scott and Corsair. As we're looking at it right now, we've got uh, Mackie who just took uh, Marsh's place right there. So that is definitely not looking good for Marsh when you're looking at the leaderboard right there. But uh, let us have a look here. Are we going to be getting any action from these guys? Ooh, Creek getting a five second penalty for cutting corners. Obviously, that is an obvious cutting corner penalty. That is definitely not looking good for him right there. So we are now down chasing the guys and chasing. Ooh, a lot of lockup coming there from Corsair. That is not looking really good right there. If I were him, I'd just try to get myself into a nice groove, into a nice good rhythm to make sure I am placed in the right place. So we are currently on board with Titan right behind Azure. It looks like Titan. Might be having a bit of better skills right there uh, than Azure going through the strange conditions as the weather seems to be worsening. Uh, that is not looking good for us. But uh, we're just going to have to find out will Titan be able to make a move on Azure on the finish start uh, straight or is he just going to have to chill and back off and uh, carry on and getting some toe right there. Alright, there we go. Here we go again, he got it, he got it right there as Titan shows a bit of dominance giving uh, Azure a bit of a scare with the fastest time right there. So let us see now, Titan, come on, you can be a little bit patient enough to get yourself into a nice position there and take Azure. Will you get a better exit time? There we go, Azure messing up his exit right there, uh, doing a bit of shake and bake, using his back end right there, trying to see if he can make a move on Azure, but Azure blocking it. Oh, blocking the road for him right there. That is not looking good. Ooh, a lot of lockup coming from Azure also there. So uh, Azure is definitely defending really hard against Titan. Will Titan be able to get an edge on Azure or will Azure stay in his first position right there? Uh, so let's see how this toll does for Titan on the back straight. Will he be able to make sure that he gets a better of an edge on Azure? And it looks like he does not manage to get a little bit too close so it looks like his jaw might have been using his ERS definitely he has been using his ERS using as much as he can to make sure that he keeps Titan away so his jaw is definitely looking like he is struggling but let me just get on board with his jaw to see how he does on these corners right here getting the first sector purple that is uh, well middle sector purple that is really good let us see how he handles the fast twisties right here Ooh, that is definitely not 
as fast as we think it would be, but definitely using a little bit of the back end of the car right there. Um, oof, keeping those corners nice and tight, I can see there. Uh, will he be able to manage to pull away from Titan as we're looking at right now? It looks like he is managing just a little bit to pull away from Titan. So it doesn't seem like he's just struggling right now. He might have got himself into a nice good rhythm as he gets everything right so now let us have a look now will titan be able to take a shot no definitely doesn't look like it a jaw might be pulling away there but, but let us not bank on it right there as titan is getting the better of these first few corners on the first sector so oof, that is going to be one interesting one so we have a back marker coming up we should be getting some uh blue lights or blue flags coming up there so right now we're in the middle of the pack we've got the Haas, the uh, Racing Point and the Williams right behind each other so we have of course Fluffy and Lion Lamb, Lion Lamb trying to defend against Fluffy and now uh, as we know Fluffy is one of those guys who are a bit of uh, a good racer in the wet conditions oh we got a nice good overtake there coming from um, coming from the Williams of course what an interesting overtake right there ladies and gentlemen wow what an overtake I am super super impressed right there he actually done it like a boss I must say he done a nice clean overtake right there so let us have a look now will Flappy be able to come back at course and get his positioning back or will he just uh, stay where he is as we can look at as we look at it right now of course, of course, almost losing the back end of the car right there. Of course, he is definitely catching up to Lion Lamb as uh, as we go through each and every corner, managing to get through. Oof. Ooh, Lion Lamb, Ooh. almost losing the car right there, uh, but uh, managing to keep himself uh, nice and tidy right there. Of course, getting a little bit closer to Lion Lamb. So we are looking at on the next first straight. Uh, on the first uh, DRS sector, which we're not going to be getting any DRS, we are looking at it as that first we'll be taking Lion Lamb as we look at it right now. I am predicting this right here. Oh, will this happen on the start finish? Let's see, of course, it's going to get a better exit out of there. Lion Lamb using the back end of the car coming out of the corner right there. That is not looking good for him, but of course, trying to get out of the slipstream to try to get himself into a better position. So, ooh, Lion Lamb, oh my god. A bit of contact there with Quest and Lion Lamb. Lion Lamb being quite slow on the exit there. Losing the car, going through the corner again and again. That is not looking good for Lion Lamb there. As he's trying to control the car coming through these uh, last two corners here, going into the straight. So, it looks like Lion Lamb will be able to manage to get away with that a little bit there. As Quest gets out of the system again and tries. Let's see if Quest will be able to try this again and will he be able to get a better exit out of that very nicely done from course doing it again he is flying through these guys and uh, i have a feeling you know the sky is definitely on uh, some interesting uh, speedy drugs to say but uh wow 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 quite interesting will lion lamb be able to make a move on course when you definitely think of uh lunging in uh, definitely just keeps himself away and he now is handing himself to Flappy right oh Mackie right behind him right there so it looks like Mackie has managed to go past Flappy without us uh, seeing that but we have been interested in what's happening right there in front as we're looking at it right there up top Jose seems to be falling behind from the number one and two uh, race leaders uh, as we have Azure uh, in front and Titan right there Titan keeps trying to get closer and closer to Azure, but he just doesn't uh, get in uh, close enough to get into a position so he can give an attack. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be one uh, interesting race as people are falling off right there. So, Fluffy is losing a lot of time right there as he's falling down the whole entire grid. It seems like every driver that gets to him just manages to take him out. That is definitely not looking good at all. Slim has got a penalty right there, so that should help Fluffy out. If he does keep Slim right close to him, it should help him out to uh, keep things nice and interesting for him and uh, manage to take that position back of the time penalty. Right, so, as we're looking at it right now, we're getting uh, some action from uh, 
from Marty here trying to make a move on uh, Landmine. Okay, right, Landmine giving Martin the positioning. Okay, that's quite interesting. Knowing that Martin is a faster uh, racer than he is, so he definitely does give him that position right there. That is uh, good sportsmanship, I must say. And he should be able to keep up with some toe with Martin on the straights, which this track has a few of them there. So uh, this should help. Uh, Ladman when it comes to getting some toll, but now let us have a look uh, Coming from a uh, fluffy chasing down slim will fluffy be able to get back at slim Will he be able to make sure that he makes a move on slim or will he just stay right behind there? Looks like he does stay right behind and uh, looks like the two Williams of uh, Mackie and Chris uh, just added and uh, they've just swapped position and it looks like uh, uh, Chris is uh, giving his position to Mac, you know, and he is a faster driver right there. We missed out on that exchange right there. I'm sure it would have been a really nice, awesome exchange. As you're looking at it right now, I am seeing a bit of action coming from uh, uh, Azure and Titan. Titan has been right behind Azure the whole entire time, not managing to get himself into a good position to take uh, Azure, but. Uh, Let's just see. Oh, Greek retiring. We might be getting oh safety car again, ladies and gentlemen. That is not what we're looking for. Oh my word! Spending the race behind the safety car is not what we want. So uh, if this might help out a few souls who wanna go pit. Oh, it looks like Marsh is went into the pit. Oh, spinning in the pit lane. That is not looking good for Marsh. So Marsh has decided that he's gonna pit. And actually take the advantage of the fact that if he does pit right now, he'll, uh, he'll be able to um, to have fresher tires and he'll be able to take his tires all the way to the end. So uh, that's what he's hoping for right there. The question is, will he be able to manage to do that? That is the big question. So we are now going to be uh, behind the safety car right now. So that is not looking good at all. For some of the drivers, you have penalties. Oh, Mackie getting a drive through penalty for unsafe speeding under safety car. That is not looking good for Mackie right there. Oh, 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 that is not good at all. Drive through, that's gonna sit him back big time. That is definitely gonna sit him back big time. That is not what he's looking for right there. That is not good at all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an interesting interesting turn of events and it's not what we want to see Ooh, that's interesting so the leaders have decided that they will also be pitting that is really an interesting one there so this should at least allow marsh to uh, get some positioning as he gets himself all the way up front so oh, marsh be able to let's get back onto Marsh right here. Will Marsh be able to uh, to get himself into a good position, or will he just stay from where he was? Oh, Marsh losing the back end right there. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not looking so good for Marsh. They trying to put the power down, but keeps losing the back end of the car. Ooh, what? Oh, that is not looking good for Marsh there as he gets a drive through penalty also so whoa 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 a lot of guys are getting a lot of drop through penalties that is not good at all so ladies and gentlemen this is uh turning out to be quite an interesting race as we see now mackie and marsh will have to do a drop through penalty as soon as the safety car is back into the pit and uh oof, i feel so bad for these guys because now they're going to be all of their hard work is going to be lost and it's not that is not good at all. Oof, this internet keeps dipping in and out. That's not what I want. Uh, but uh, right. Let us uh, get up top with the guys behind the safety car. Ooh. So Mackie, all of his efforts of trying to get into the top three has now been ruined by getting a safety car. Oh, Slim has now left the session. I would assume as it's gotten uh, disconnected. Uh, but uh, that is definitely not looking good for Mackie right there. Slim has just joined in. That is looking good for him. But uh, oof, that is no good at all. That is not what we are looking for, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, but uh, you know what? It is what it is. It's life. You know, you exceed the speed limit during the safety car, you get yourself a drive through. That's how it goes. And uh, if, if he had just behaved himself, he would, uh, he would have kept his uh, position. But uh, unfortunately, now he's got a drive through that he has to attend to. And uh, Marsh also has a drive through. So that is definitely not looking so good for these guys. And uh, I would, uh, what I would advise these guys to do is just to really take that, uh, that drive through as soon as the safety car goes in, take the drive through on that lap because that isn't much of a, so it doesn't give them too much of a uh, difference in time as the guys try to get up to speed because they'll be a little bit more conservative because of the tires being a little bit cold uh, before they get any traction. Ooh, Greek has now left the session. Uh, that was, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Did this uh, whoa, okay, right. So, getting a few comments today from one of the drivers, uh, but, yeah, uh, yes, it was a horrible race for me. <laughs> did you? <laughs> oh, my word, dude, was it really, really bad? Yes, I died. I hit the wall. Oh, oh I wish I caught that action right there. That is not at all, man. What in the world? We expect. You see when the track is wet the way it is, yeah. you just spin it uh, like finish. Uh. Oof, dude. Ay, 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 ay. But you have to be patient, you know. When it's wet like this, it's wet and wild. You gotta be patient and smooth on the acceleration and start. Ooh, Scott getting a penalty right there, colliding with Lion Lamb. That is not good for Scott right there. Ooh, my word. That is so. Different. Who you think is gonna win? Uh, you know what? It's between, the it's the blue the, car or the yellow car? It's between the Joe and the Titan. So the blue car and the yellow car, but which one? Uh, I'm not sure. As Joe has been managing to defend against Titan, so uh, he might So the blue win. car? Yeah, he might actually win it. But uh, as we are uh, about to. Uh, it actually looks navy blue now that I see it again. <laughs> Maybe blue, oh, jeez, that's interesting. And uh, and what color? Oh, red and yellow. Okay. Uh, the safety cars out for a long time. Uh, it's because a lot of guys went into the pit, so. Uh, but it should be going in on this track right here. I mean, on this uh, on this lap right now. So. There we go, safety car going in. So we are now getting back up to speed. Sorry for and a it's lot lag. Hard. Sorry for a bit of lag that's gonna be coming out for you guys right there. So uh Oh as you are losing his car right there on the restart of the safety car that is not looking so good at my all. my stream oh my is lagging God. then because of oh I see it now holy no, shit I'm gonna have to we're gonna have to get in, into the in game oh we need a replay of that yeah definitely so that is definitely not looking so good for you as he goes back the field he must really land himself in the midfields and he's now in eighth position and Titan takes the lead and we're looking at Titan he's right now. going he's to be hitting him. himself after that. He hates himself right now. He's going to be knocking the walls back and forth. So hopefully he gets another safety car. Uh, that's just a hope. But right now we are looking at it. And uh, it looks like Titan will definitely lead and push as hard as he can to make sure... That Titan is on steroids, I'm telling you. I don't trust his mechanism. Oh no, he's definitely one of the fast drivers. He's not bad at all. He's uh, one heck of a driver. So... Let us have a look and see what is going on in the midfield as we have a lot of guys who are really nice and close. Will any of the guys be making any moves and any of them? So uh, we'll just find out as we see. For Can we so, check what's so, happening there in seventh place? Uh, you mean know, uh, Ezra? Ezra is a little far. So I'm looking at uh, Ladman and, uh, and the other guys right here. So Ezra is definitely going to try to push through the whole entire field and try and make his place in back onto the top guys but he does lose his back end a little bit there and uh that man is definitely not as fast as Azure so he will not but be able I to I must keep... say your stream is lagging. Yeah no my internet keeps dropping in and out. No it is because like of my, uh... I can see my internet it keeps going in and out for some odd reason I don't know why. So yeah. Your voice is fine so 
That's quite interesting. So the voice goes through perfectly fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might have to look at the, the performance settings. I haven't changed anything, so I could reinstall the software, but uh, but yeah, well, I'll have to have a look at the performance setting of, uh, settings of this uh, streaming software. But anyway, so right now we have Azure fighting himself all the way up to try to get himself into a good point. I feel like we're going to have another safety car going here. Nah, I don't think so at all. I don't think so. As these guys We're are not even players. halfway and the tensions are getting high. I think there's definitely going to be one or two more collisions. Nah, I don't think so at all. So we have Chris A. He's making a move on Scott. So Scott, oof. Scott's going out right there. That is not but looking so good. That is not looking good. So just join in game and then you can I'll just let you know we won't be there too. Then it's going to be like instant replay for you. So, uh, right, so, ladies and gentlemen, we are having quite an interesting turnout here as we had from the start where Chris was struggling to put down some hot laps during uh, his time trial, but uh, time quality, but uh, he's now found himself in second place. Will he be able to maintain and stay up there or will he give in to the pressure that's coming from? Uh, Corsair right now so we are gonna get on board of Corsair and see how he rocks it out there will he be able to put in a bit of pressure on Chris until he does a mistake or will he have to push himself a little bit hard to go past Chris let's us just see and find out Chris is definitely struggling a little bit there on the exit as it goes along oh going out too wide on that exit there for Chris that is definitely not looking come on come on Oh, that is definitely not looking good for Chris. So we're definitely going to be seeing a, a, a nice one-two finish from uh, from the Reynolds. Meneer, it is halfway through the race. Yeah, I'm feeling we're going to see that one-two finish. Unless if it's your, oh, it's your just really kicking through right, right through the field and just eliminating people. This is going to be one interesting ride. <coughs> yo, yo, yo. As you are just going through each and every racer to try uh, get himself into that uh, uh, points table right there. He's right behind. Uh, he's now right behind uh, uh, the thing, the Ripple, uh, Ripple, uh, not Ripple, sorry. The, the Reynolds of Corsair, who is now trying to make moves on Quiz. All right, so let's get on board with um, Azure and see how he progresses through the whole entire race. This is going to be one hell of an interesting one right here. Jose trying to see if he can get himself into the corner and he definitely does. A little bit of contact right there between the two guys. Oof. Chris managing to keep his position right there. So, whoa, that is quite an interesting one there. That's, uh, that's uh, some, a bit of great defending coming from Chris, but Jose is a relentless driver. He's definitely going to try another move. And Chris again in one of the corners. Oh, he's going to try it on the start finish straight. Is he going to get it right there? Uh, I've right. got to leave now. Unfortunately, uh, nature's calling me. Oh, okay. You know, uh, you know what I mean. Nature. Is... Oh, oh, I got Ooh, go. Chris going I... into the pits for a pit stop. So that is now leaving uh, Azure and Cosse to battle it out. Will Azure be able to catch up to Cosse? We just gonna have fun out, but he did manage to get to him, so he will be able to make a move on this coming straight, the first straight uh, of the whole entire track. As we're looking at it right now, is he going through the right hand and turn? Will he be able to get a bit of a better exit right there? Don't get too close, getting a little too close will make him break a bit, and uh, definitely got a little bit too close, not getting a really good exit right there for him. But uh, he's now chasing down Corsair on the straight, getting a little bit of toe as Corsair gets a better exit on the corner. But uh, let's just have a look and see how this is going to turn out for him. Getting onto those sausages right there, nicely done, nice and tidy. Getting a bit of good speed on the exit there on those corners and uh, managing to keep the car in check. And uh, now he's pushing as hard as he can to take on Corsair. And Corsair seems to be uh, on his ERS also. Uh, so this is going to be one heck of an interesting race uh, between these two guys right here. As we're going down the final straight, oof, 
That is not looking so good. Ooh, a bit of contact there between Azure and Corsair. Um, I believe there, uh, Azure is going to have to give Corsair uh, that positioning right there after what he did there. Just running Corsair a level yeah. too wide. And uh, here we go, a little bit too rough there. And uh, what a complete move. Uh, coming from Azure and uh, he's been going through these guys and he's uh, managed to do this like a boss so he's really cranking it out there and making sure he is the man showing and asserting his dominance will he be able to uh, catch up to Titan that is the big question right now so we have Scott right behind Corsair so will we be getting some action here from uh, Scott who's going to be pushing through right uh, pushing right through Corsair or will Corsair be able to defend but right now as you look at it right now we have Scott with a five second penalty so he's gonna have to make sure he goes past Corsair and then push on to create a five second gap so he can maintain and keep that position so will he get a better exit here to, uh, so it looks like he does get a better entry and managing to get a better exit on this corner right here but Corsair using his ERS most probably let's have a look and he definitely is using that he has a little bit there uh use the prs uh, on the exit right there but let us have a look will he panic and start using a lot of his ers on this uh back straight here as we see scott catching up to corsair ah uh, come on this is going to be one heck of an interesting overtake right here will corsair defend the way he did uh, with uh azure or is he gonna just uh, Keep it rolling right there. So right now we have Scott who did manage to get a, a, a better exit on the corner. So it looks like Corsair is getting better exits in general. But uh we're gonna have to see and find out how this is gonna turn out. As uh oof, that is an interesting entrance there. He had a bit of an edge right there, he could have carried out a little bit of speed and let the car flow right through the corner, but Got a little bit too scared and he went straight into the brakes. Let the car flow right through the corner. Here we go, getting a better exit than Corsair. That is making him look really good right there. That is really good from Scott right here, going through the fast corners and keeping the car nice and tidy. Corsair also doing the same thing. Very nice flick going on right here, going nice and wide, keeping the speed, carrying it over into the next corner. And let's see on the second to last corner, will he be able to manage to keep some speed from that? Breaking and definitely does get a little bit of speed there. Corsair managing to get a bit of an exit there, a bit of a better exit, and getting a really good launch out of the start finish straight. And let us see, will Corsair, will Corsair get into it? Oof! Yeah, we've got Scott going out wide here. Yeah, uh, losing a bit of precious time, we'll be able to gain some, uh, uh, get some time. Um, uh, ugh, sorry. <laughs> Will he be able to manage to get a better corner right there? And definitely does not do that. So this is not really looking so good for Scott right here as we have uh, KG retiring right there. Hopefully that does not cause a safety car as that will just uh, add to the pressure on Titan uh, coming from uh, Asia. But uh, let us have a look right here. Will Scott be able to get some toll from Corsair? Definitely is within that range of getting a bit of toe, but slowly slipping out, coming through the exit. So it looks like Corsair has definitely got better exits than Scott, but he does use his ERS when he goes out of his exit. So this is going to be one heck of an interesting one right now. Will he ever be able to do it at all? Or is he going to be just chilling right here in fourth position as Ladman will be taking the fourth position if Scott does not manage to push himself out of that uh, that penalty range from Ladman, but Ladman seems to be falling behind as he's looking at the times right there on the corner. Uh, but uh, let us have a look and see what is going on. Come on, guys. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. We have a mountain attack definitely coming from Kuss. Uh, so the Kuss. Uh, of course, is definitely mounting an attack on uh, Martin as he goes through the fast corners. Let us see now. Will he get uh, some good action right here? So we're waiting to see. Let us see now. Oof, okay, that's quite interesting. So Chris going into the pit. Oh, I think he's going to change his tires. So uh, that is not looking so good. It looks like Scott spinned out and... Uh, Mm, we might have had a bit of a collusion from these guys that uh, we missed out on that as we thought uh, uh, 
course, you're mounting an attack on the guys. So it looks like uh, they had a bit of a gentleman's agreement right there to uh, to decide that uh, they will uh, uh, he will actually Kose will actually stop a bit. So they almost already had a bit of contact. So Kose stopped a little bit there to give uh, oh on the safety car now. Okay, well <laughs> missed that one right there. Yellow flags. Right, so we're in the safety car. This should be giving out uh, a few people a bit of an advantage now. So after that spin out, it looks like Greek was right. So after that spin out, we had um, we had uh, what's his, uh, we had we had uh, uh, Azure pushing himself to get to the top right now. That's going to be quite an interesting one as we have Azure right behind Titan when we get into a safety car. Oof. Oh, I need to check what's going on with this. Uh, internet is not treating me well today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to make sure that it stays in check. So, um, so yeah, this is quite interesting right here. So, we're going to have uh, Azure catching up to, uh, to Titan because of the safety car. This is... Uh, Oh, as you're going into the pits, mm, that's an interesting strategy right there. Oh, so looks like we are. As you're most probably going to take some softs. I have a feeling he's going to go for softs. Let's have a look. Oh, as you're going for some inters right there. Yeah, okay, so it looks like the track is definitely has not cleared up much. Uh, so I would assume that uh, Marsh has told Ezio that uh, it's not a good idea to go for subs right now as oof, Martin getting a 5 second penalty there for speeding in the pits. That is not good for him at all. So oof, this is going to be one heck of an interesting restart right here as Ezio is going to try to power right through. So we've got course A, he's got 8 laps on his tires that might be at a bad big disadvantage disadvantage for him as he is definitely not in a good space at all to um oof. i hope because it goes in for a pit because that's not going to be good for him unless if he's going to try to defend the positioning from his jaw but uh scott has no choice but he's going to most likely have to settle in for either fifth place or some sort of place down there because if the guys are going to be nice and close so um wow 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 ladies and gentlemen this has been one heck of a race so far so uh yeah back into the safety car again oh boy oh boy Let us hope there's still a bit of uh, wet patches during the race because right now the rain is now gone. Right. Okay, so we still have a lot of water on the track, so that's looking really good. And uh, that's what we want from these guys right now is just to see some more action as they're now behind the safety car. We've got Ladman with medium compound tires. He might be suffering a little bit there. I would have taken some softies if I was going to take any other kind of uh, slick tire but uh, you know what that's a choice that he makes and he shall suffer because he might be causing another safety car or he might spin out because you can't have another safety car after this one right here so he might actually spin out and uh, our customer locked so um, uh, let's hope for the best for the guys who took mediums and uh, let's also hope for the best for the guys who took softies because we don't know if those softs are really going to be able to get some traction uh, during this time of the race as you see that the rain has cleared but we don't know if the track is totally clean so we are still seeing a bit of uh, misty water coming from on, uh, from the other cars uh, so there is definitely a bit of water on the track but it's definitely not time for any slick tires it looks but you'll never know you will never know let us see Oof. Okay, so Ladman getting a penalty right there for cutting corners. 
Liverpool. Now it's just ruined his chances of getting into a nice, decent sports position because if Scott, if he had maintained a clean streak of his race, he would have been, uh, he would have managed to get uh, past uh, Scott's penalty. So, I mean, he's got a five-second penalty, so he would have been uh, right there in range to be uh, in the points position. So, oof. We've had a lot of DNFs, ladies and gentlemen. Oof, that is not looking good at all. But uh, you know what? Things happen. It's been what, one heck of an interesting rain in time, and uh, hopefully uh, the restarts will be really, really good. As everybody now working themselves to catch up to the safety car, the safety car should be going in on the next lap. So this is going to be one heck of an interesting restart. And uh, oof. as you see, our leaders right here are sitting on enters. Will those enters last? That is a really big question. Or oh, will we have a few blowouts as the track starts to dry up? I can see as is a little bit eager to get himself into a good position right now. Well, you know, from you guys, ladies and gentlemen, you guys let me know. Will the job be able to get right there with Titan? Or will Titan be taking that uh, pole position and winning the race? And this is going to be one interesting one as we see it right here. Hey, what's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, let us now prepare for the race to start again as we now have the safety car that's going to be going in on this lap. We have now pretty much, you know, we have pretty much five laps for these guys to show us some action and uh, let's hope, uh, well, pretty much six laps basically. Let's hope we're going to be seeing some really good action uh, from these guys as we finish off this race. Woo a lot of pressure now in Titan. If our Titan will hold the whole entire the whole entire group back to make sure that uh, you know I've noticed that Titan has got a really good exit to so make sure that he gets a really good exit on this uh, last corner right there. And here we go, as the race restarts right here, will we be seeing any moves coming from Jose, or will we be seeing any moves coming from... Ooh, very nicely done there, as we have Azure trying to make a move there on the Ferrari of Scott. Scott's letting Azure go right through, a bit of contact there coming from Scott to Azure's uh, rear right... Uh, uh, thing in rear right wheel, but uh, we'll have to see now, Azure is now on the attack on getting the two Reynolds in front of him. As we see right now, we have Corsair trying to, uh, to defend and put his car in the right places so he can make sure he keeps Azure away from Titan. But it looks like Azure is going to be getting a bit of an edge on Titan and getting a bit of a better exit uh, than Titan. But it looks like Azure backed off in that corner just to make sure that he doesn't get cut off in the inside corner right there. So now we're going to be seeing Azure making a move, getting that nice lack of toe from Titan on the back straight as Titan moves his car around to defend the positioning and Azure is definitely going to 
Definitely break a little bit late, uh, making a move on Titan right there. What a good move coming from Azure. He's done that quite well. He's really doing this quite well from us uh, right now. We're seeing some good, really, um, seeing some really good entertaining coming from Azure, managing to go right past Titan, uh, nice and clean in the corner. So now it's a chase to get to, um, sorry, not to Titan, of course, uh, it's not a chase to get to Titan. Will Azure manage to get to Titan of the two second? Uh, different gap, we will be able to get in there. Oof. Oh, we see Azure going straight into the pits. Okay. That's an interesting strat right there. Definitely, that's an interesting strat right there. As you see, a lot of guys who went out in Inters are now going into the pits to go on for some softs. That is such a good idea. So, looks like the track is now drying up, so Titan might get punished by this uh, decision that he's taking right now to try and take his uh, intermediates all the way to the end. Oof, that was really close coming from the Williams there. Let us see now, let us see now as we have Azure. Will Azure be able to mount an attack on uh, on Chris quite easily? Let us find out. Azure is definitely a faster driver, so we're gonna now stick a little bit of Azure and we'll have a look throughout the grid to see who's ever, who, who else is gonna be trying to make some moves on other drivers. But right now, we're gonna just stick with Azure and see how he goes up the ladder again after this whole entire intense race. I'm sure he's really exhausted after pushing through the whole entire grid and then having to go back into a pit again. Oof, that is gonna be one. I got an interesting race for him right here as we go through the back straight of this uh, track. Oh, that toe is helping him out quite a lot, managing to give him. Oh, look at that. Tight uh, course, managing to uh, try and get that inside corner right there, but you're getting uh, the better of it right there. Very nice clean, uh, very nice clean uh, finish right there coming from. Uh, is your, but uh, now he's got a purple sector, no sector, which is really good. Uh, so, going through the high speed corner, Titan setting a really fast time right there, 148. I'm feeling Azure is gonna be taking the fastest time on this lap right now. Oh, Marsh setting a fast time right there, Marsh, well done. So, we see Corsair who went into the pits right now, he's taken. Uh, softs also will Jose be able to manage to come out right in front of Azure or oh, no he does not definitely come out in front of Azure and uh, Azure manages to be right in front of Jose so this is not looking good for the Reynolds right now it is a bad decision that they've made to stay out there of the enters one of them that could win said ooh that man planting his nose into the wall right there uh, that is definitely not looking so good for him. Uh, hopefully we don't get a virtual safety car because that's going to cost us a bit of time there to try and catch up. So we're going to see right now, whoa, Titan stay in the Inters. Is he going to really push himself all the way to the end of the Inters? Because those Inters must be burning. As you can see, there's a lot of lockup and it's definitely going to be slower. So we are seeing what we're getting now is that we have Moss chasing relentlessly, uh, trying to get himself nice and close to uh, Titan but then at the same time we've got Mackie chasing also uh, behind uh, Marsh and uh, it looks like uh, Mackie might be able to catch up to Marsh but the times are not changing as much but you'll never know uh, as we know that Mackie is one of the fast drivers who are favorites and they are fast uh, so um, we'll just have to see and find out how this goes looks like Mackie is definitely falling behind as a sure is catching up to Mackie, so oof. oh my word, Titan is risking it all, is risking it for a biscuit. He's going out there and he's saying, I'm staying on these enters all the way. You can try to catch up to him. Moss oh, taking the fastest time right there at a 144. I think, is, uh, I think uh, Titan is gonna regret staying on these enters, but yet again, a 141 coming from uh, Azure there is definitely pushing as hard as he can to try to catch up to Titan and uh, and Marsh, so oof, this is going to be one heck of an interesting finish as you see Titan trying to uh, save his uh, pole position by carrying on with the enters. What a bad, bad, bad idea because the 
But this is not looking so good for Titan as he's getting slower and slower as his tires start heating up even more. That is not looking good at all for Titan. What a bad decision that came from Titan right here. He could have worked out and going into the softs and tried it out again. But uh, what a bad decision. But yet again, this is risking it for the whole entire pole position. So. Every looks like Titan is managing to uh, to keep um, Marsh at bay. Even though Marsh is catching up, but Marsh is not catching up as fast as we think he would have. Uh, so it looks like Titan. Ooh, Titan almost losing the back end of his car right there. Uh, so we are seeing Corsair. He's about to make a move on Puss. So will Corsair make a move on Puss? And uh, definitely does not make that move. But uh, I looks. Uh, it looks quite interesting right here as we have a, a three-way uh, three battle here uh, between Chris, Corsair and Scott who are just uh, relentlessly chasing each other down to try and uh, get good positioning right there. Now we've got Marsh right behind Titan. Oh my god, that is not looking so good right there for Titan. Titan, that was a really bad decision right there. And he's definitely going to be getting Mackie and Azure right on top of him. As now Marsh is taking the pole position and is now going to push forward. And uh, he's definitely gone and dusted. Uh, but uh, bad decisions coming from the Reynolds of uh, uh, Titan right there. So that is not a good idea coming from this guy. So uh, now we've got Mackie who's going to be making a move uh, just now on Titan on his medium compound tires. Here we go, going down the long straight, uh, the longest straight in this track. And let us have a look and see. Will Mackie be able to get himself closer to Titan? But uh, as far as it looks right now, we have uh, Azure having his sights on uh, Mackie right there. Uh, a lot of guys are getting penalties, trying to push as hard as I can to get some good points positioning right here. But uh, oh, definitely Mac is catching up to Titan right here. And uh, ooh, hopefully Mac can get a really good overtake on, uh, on Titan right here. Definitely Titan will be slower on this uh, fast-paced uh, fast uh, corners right here. So here we go. Very really nicely done there. Nice good overtake there coming from Oh, uh, Mackie right there. Now he's drawn right behind Titan. Titan, he should have not went out with those. He could have been just like his uh, He could have been pushing through the field. But you know what? We all make decisions. Uh, but yeah, uh, so as it is, is Joe taking the fastest time again. Will Titan, uh, will is your now be able to take out Mackie? So is is on soft compound tires, which are. Um, they're fairly fresh and they are definitely faster than the medium compound tires as uh, Mackie is on his uh, medium compound tires which are 8 laps old so they should start falling off quite soon but uh, uh, you know what I don't think uh, Mackie is going to be able to keep his uh, right behind him right there so he's going to have to defend uh, as hard as he can because his joy is hot on his heels and he really wants uh, that second position right there. So uh, this is going to be one heck of an interesting race as you see right there. Now we've got Scott making, trying to make a move on course but definitely does not get into it. But right here with Azure and Mackie. Azure is going to make a move right here. Will Azure make a move? Let's just have a look. And definitely tries to go around around. And Mackie closing up on there. Oof, that is not good. Azure is not going to be happy about that move right there. Azure is not definitely not going to be happy as Mackie decides that he's going to go wide to close the gates down on Azure right there. So right now we have oh it's the last lap. So now wonder Azure and uh, Mackie uh, and Mackie done that. So let's, let us have a look. That is quite a dirty move coming from Mackie. Now it's just a matter of time. Will Azure be able to? Oh, definitely, Azure lunges into that right there. I think Maki does definitely deserve that right there. So now, as we look at it right now, we have in the last few corners, and uh, Chris as a... Uh, ooh, that is not good coming from Chris. Oh, Titan as it falls down. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. What an interesting race right there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That is... Uh, 
one hell of a race coming from these guys and uh, pretty much enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys also enjoyed it. Unfortunately, sorry for the laggy stream though, as uh, the internet keeps tripping in, in and out. Uh, that is not good and it's not what I would like to see. So we're just going to have to have a look and see what is wrong with the performance of this internet and hopefully the service provider can sort it out. But yeah, what hell. What an interesting race right there, as we have a Red Bull 1 and 2, followed by Mackie and his Williams. So, wow. I think Mackie should have not tried his silly little move, because uh, he would have not had his uh, lunge in like that. But uh, you know what? It is what it is, and uh, it should not happen, but uh, it's, it's how it is. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is now the end of the race. As, uh, as we look at it right now, and uh, Ooh, well done to the Red Bull team for getting a one and two right there. And uh, wow, what an interesting race, ladies and gentlemen. These guys raced their hearts out. It was not what we were looking for right there towards the end as uh, some people decided to take the wrong strategies on uh, this whole entire thing. I have a feeling uh, Titan would have managed to get a uh, better positioning, but uh, it's unfortunate as we see it right there. We've got the standings of uh, a, a one and two from the Red Bull followed by Williams. Uh, that is quite an interesting one right there. So uh, well done to those guys in the top three. And uh, here we have it right here. In first position, we have Marsh. Uh, followed by Joe in second position and then we have uh, oof, Martin getting the fastest time right there and then we have Mackie in third position Quirs in fifth and uh, Titan in sixth position uh, Quirsier is teammate right there in seventh position Slim taking eighth position Martin of the fastest time in ninth position and we have uh, Chief Funk finalizing the point table in the uh, uh, in 10th position and now uh, followed by 11th position from Lion Lamb, 12th position from Ladman, Fluffy in 13th position, followed by KG in 14. What an interesting race right there. We did not. Uh, uh, we will actually you are seeing a lot of action out of that one there and uh, definitely you guys must really enjoy that race. So yeah, uh, that will be a good night coming from me and thank you for watching and uh, hopefully next time we will have a better internet to say. So uh, let us, uh, uh, you know what, let us tuck ourselves into bed and, uh, and let's say toodles to the actual stream. So thank you guys for joining in and uh, don't forget it's all gonna be awesome. <laughs>